Hello students of IK2. Today we are going to continue with adding across. Okay. So you already know how to add two numbers, right? So for example, 3 plus 1. You can either use your fingers to add or you can simply draw lines in your notebook to add them. Okay, isn't it easy? Now turn to page 68 of your maths textbook and we are going to learn how to add down. But this time, there are three numbers. Now look at the first question. There are three numbers to add, right? The simplest way to add the three numbers is by adding the first two numbers, 5 and 6. You can draw lines in your notebooks. First, you can draw 5 lines and another 6 lines. So, if you add both, you get the number 11, right? Now, after you get the number 11, by adding 5 and 6, you can draw one more line. So, that means the total sum of 5, 6 and 1 will be 12. 11 plus 1 is 12, right? Isn't it easy? Okay, now look at the second question. Just like the first one, there are three numbers to add. 4, 6, and 2, right? So, just like the first one, you will add the first two numbers, 4 and 6. And that means you can draw 4 lines and another 6 lines. So, if you add them together, you get the number 10, right? So, after you get the number 10, you will draw two more lines, right? Since the question is 4 plus 6 plus 2. So, the answer is again 12. 4 plus 6 is 10 plus 2 is 12. 10 plus 2 is 12. Now, look at page number 69 and there are three numbers to add. But this time, you are going to add across, but the method or the process is same as adding down. You can either uh, draw lines or use your fingers. Okay, you can draw lines for bigger numbers and you can use your fingers for smaller numbers. Okay, now turn to page 71 and this is also adding down, but I am going to teach you how to use a different method, okay? Look at the first question, 12 plus 4. So instead of drawing 12 lines at once, you can look at the first two numbers on the right. On the right, you can see 2 and 4, right? So you can either use your fingers or draw lines, right? Two lines and four lines. So, what is 2 plus 4? 2 plus 4 is 6, right? So, you will write 6 under 2 and 4 and there is 1 left, right? On the left. So, you will just write 1. That means the total sum of 12 and 4 is 16. Isn't it easy? Okay, and by using the same method, you can turn to page number 72 and you can add down three sets of numbers this time. Okay, look at the first one. You can see 10, 5, and 3. So, we are going to add these numbers together. So, what should you do first? Yes, you can look at the numbers on the right. You can see 0, 5, and 3. Since you can't add 0, you will add the numbers 5 and 3. So you can draw lines in your notebook, 5 lines and 3 lines. So together they make 8, right? 5 and 3 is 8. So you will write 8 under 0, 5 and 3 and 
you can look at the number on the left you see only one right only the number one so you will just write one under one so the total number of 10 5 and 3 will be 18 right isn't it easy and that is it for today's lesson and I know it's a little harder than the other lessons but you can learn it or you can perfect it by practicing it every day okay so students you have to practice adding down big numbers or adding across big numbers every day okay if you have any more questions to ask uh, you can contact me anytime okay thank you